In this video, I'm going to show you five new eco-friendly inventions which are helping save the planet. We can actually start with the jumper that I'm wearing. It's from a company called BAM, who are using bamboo to create all of their products. Now if you got a chance to watch my bamboo video, you would know that it's one of the most sustainable materials out there, because it regrows so quickly. The clothing industry is one of the most polluting industries out there, but the guys at BAM are setting a sustainable example to the rest of the industry. Over on the BAM website, you can see the positive impact that each product has. You can see the amount of water you saved, as well as the amount of pesticides and emissions you have stopped. I'd highly recommend getting a pair of bamboo socks, as they are super comfy. Now this technology looks like it's going to be taking over the leather industry very soon. It is called Milo and is a leather replacement made from mycelium, which for mushrooms is basically like the root of a tree. The product begins in labs where it is grown in large beds of sawdust. It is then processed into a material that has the same properties as leather. Its production is rapidly increasing as it has received investments from companies such as Adidas and Stella McCartney who want to start producing products using Milo leather in 2021. Yeah, that's right, these shoes are made from corn and algae, as well as a few other natural materials. The company is called Hilo Athletics and they have created the world's most sustainable running shoe. They encourage the buyer to send the shoes back to them after they have worn out so that they can recycle them into more shoes. They are super comfortable and I'd highly recommend you get a pair. Now similar to the Milo leather mentioned earlier on, these companies are using natural materials to create leather replacements. A company known as Pintex are using leaf fibre from pineapple farming to create leather. This raw material is usually just a byproduct of pineapple farming, which means they are transforming a waste product into something which can be used over and over again. Similarly, in Copenhagen, a company known as Beyond Leather are using the apple pump left over from cider production to create leather. Finally, a company known as Modern Synthesis are using bacteria to create their material. The company uses robots to create a yarn scaffolding, which the bacteria then grows over and around to create a strong, lightweight material. So far, the company has created shoes using this method, but it seems likely that they'll be able to produce other items of clothing too. Thank you for watching. As always, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and make sure you go and check out some of our other videos on eco-friendly design. I'll see you in the next one.